Oh, matron. It's Friday night, guys. So you know what that means? Time for another food review, world famous Waski review, and some more bloopers. Ho oh, ho, you better believe these. Mice. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys. Today we're in the town of Windsor on the outskirts of London. I'm with Mrs. Blot and little Blot, he's walking ahead because he's camera shy. Today we're gonna to do a food review from a place called Tortilla. Mrs. Blot chose that one. You know, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normally guys, you know, I always pick like pizza shops, Chinese, fish and chips, so I've left it to this lovely lady to choose something different, take me out my comfort zone to do things like, what do they do? Nachos, burritos, everything. Tacos, things All like sorts. that. The kind of stuff you don't normally see me doing a bit munching glad back on. So I'm gonna let Mrs. Blot choose a couple of things off the menu and I will see you legends when we get a little bit closer. Right. You better believe I will. Ah. Oh. Come on then, Mrs. Blot. Here we go. It's awesome. So, guys, we're just making our way up the tour to you now. I'll point the camera down as I go in, just in case the, the staff don't like us recording. You know what I'm talking about. Right. 
Go on to Mrs. Blot. Go and get some food ordered for us. There we go, guys. We've got the food. How much did that come to, Mr. Mr. Blot? Mr. Blot. <laughs> How much did that come to, Mr. Blot? <laughs> 1923, Mrs. Blot. 1923 for a lovely beef burrito and chicken nachos with chicken all the nachos everything on. You know it makes sense. Okay, then, guys, we will see you when we get back to our hotel room and we're going to get stuck right into this. Right. Okay then my fan sexuals. So we're back in the hotel room. Mrs. Blot, do you want to unpack our lovely food? I hope it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a nice candingo of Corona. Mrs. Blot's got a Diet Coke. Napkins. That'll be the burrito, obviously. Ooh. Let's have a quick look there before we get stuck right in. Oh yeah! Oh, that'll ding dang do for this man, Dingo. Let's have a quick look at your nachos, cheesy chicken nachos with everything on. Well, them do look absolutely lovely, jubbly, as they say in the south of France. Oh, yes, mandingos. Time to get stuck into our food. I'm going to make a start on the spicy beef burrito. Mrs. Blot's going to get stuck into her chicken and... Nachos. Chicken and nachos, nachos with all the trimmings. Here we go. Oh, I like to see it, guys. It's not normally the kind of thing I order. Mmm. Look at that. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Mm. That's got everything in there, guys. She asked, what would you like in? And Mrs. Blot said, just put everything in. Don't hold back. Don't be shy. Because your mum wasn't. You know what I'm talking about. That is hot. <laughs> I asked for extra hot chilli. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I do like spicy things, guys. But that is really spicy. <laughs> Extra hot chili. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I'd stitch you up on this one. Mmm, I tell you what, that is so tasty. It's absolutely beautiful. I think by the time I get halfway down, my mouth's gonna be on fire that much. I'm not gonna be able to taste anything. How's yours? Beautiful. Plenty of chicken on there? Oh, loads. Look at that. Loads of chicken on. 
so they haven't been greedy there. No. You know, sometimes you'll go to places mm. and you'll ask for like chicken on something and you open it up and there's not much on, but that looks like there's plenty on there. No, no, definitely not greedy. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, this is something I will definitely order again, quite a bit in the future, but I don't think I'll get that extra hot chilli sauce on. <laughs> My mouth is on fire. Give it a try. Oh, you have some of that Mrs Bloss. And let me try this. Oh, oh yes. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Now I never order these nachos. When we're out and about and Mrs. Blood orders them. I always say, what the hell are you ordering nachos for? It's just like Doritos with bits of shite on. But these are absolute top quality. Is your mouth on fire? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's backfired on you. Oh. But when you get these from a proper place, like what we've just been to the other day in Windsor. These are absolute top quality. Mmm. Oh, matron. I know there'll be a few people in the comment section, just like the last food review I did, and they'll be saying, you must have knew them people that owned that tortilla. Hmm. <laughs> It must be a sponsored video blood. No, it's not. We're miles away from home. We don't know these people. Your mouth's burning. Mm. <laughs> mouth on fire. Just if I do get a good meal and it's really nice and really tasty, I'm going to tell the truth and I'm going to give it really good marks. I don't be greedy. Mm. Share. Yeah. You know that. I don't mind having that. But honestly, that's more for me, like a burrito or a wrap. Nachos are something. I just don't see the point of nachos. But I tell you what, it's opened my eyes today, guys, because them are absolutely tremendous with the chicken on. They're just the flavours. Like I see, I'm pretty boring with my foods. I'm going to have to start and be a bit more adventurous with us doing these food reviews. Lovely, absolutely lovely. And that, unbelievable. I'm going to cool my mouth down. Like a disco in your mouth, isn't it? All different flavours. Oh, here we go. Let's get some more of this down the old Gregory Peck. Hmm. Mm. There's loads of beef in there. Not enough gravy. You can see that, guys. Lovely, jubbly. Mmm. Well, I've got to see it. This type of food for me, I'm really happy with now, and I'll be definitely trying more of this in the future. Even though I do love me, me pizza shop, me Chinese and me fish and chips, I now like this kind of stuff as well. It's always nice to step out your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Try different things. Yep. Mrs. Blot's right there. There's no point eating the same thing all the time. You've got to be a bit adventurous and try everything once. Oh, oh matron. <laughs> oh, my mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's absolutely burning. I can, I can barely taste a thing now. <laughs> Just hot, isn't it? 
if I try to eat at the side. Oh, I don't think there's any point in me videoing myself eating the rest of this because I just I can't taste a thing now. My mouth is just <laughs> on fire. Uh, I'll have a little bit of that. This is nice and cool, this. Mmm. Good stuff in. Mmm. Tell me, guys. That's nice and cool. And I'm just trying to cool my mouth down. I'm sweating. Did I stitch you up on that one? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to give the scores now, guys. And I'm going to try and cool my mouth down. I'm going to give this lovely food from Tortilla in Windsor. I'm going to give it a massive 9.3 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh yes, you better believe I am. What's your score, Mrs. Blot? Mine is 9.8. 9.8? 9.8. Fantastic scores this time, One guys. Of the best I've had. Well, I'm going to try and cool my mouth down. I'll bring you back very soon. And when I do, I'm going to do the world famous Waski with you. Before the with you, I need to quickly show you something in my last camping video. I forgot to show you the glove bit. You know the old glove of self love, our matron. I forgot to put that in the video, and people are asking us, Did you forget to do the glove bit, Mandingo? No, I didn't forget to do it, but somehow I, I just didn't put it in the video. So, here it's now. The glove of self-love. Ah, when I bring you back, we're doing the world famous Waski with you. Right. <laughs> oh, that's hot. What you had? Err. Matron. Uh. Oh, oh yes, Mandingos. You know what time it is. Waski time. You better believe it is. I've just had to come in the bathroom here because it's late. It's half twelve at night. Mrs. Blot and little Blot are out for the count. Fast asleep. It's been a busy day for us today. I'm napping as well, but there's always time. There's always time, guys, for a little cheeky waski. Anyway, this is what we've got this time. It's an American whiskey. Maker's Mark. Tennessee bourbon. Straight bourbon. Oh, oh yes. I've been having a few little cheeky ones over the last couple of nights, but I've kept this for the wee view. Okay then, Mandingos, let's get this popped in there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there's more than enough there. More than enough, guys. Let's get the old bigger Rooney in it. I'm very sweet, like bourbons are. That's pretty obvious. I'm getting a lot of caramel straight away. Some spices in there as well, guys. Aye, loads of caramel, a few spices. Also getting like a little bit, like a little bit cinnamon thing going on. Not a bad start. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Ricicles. Oh, very rich. Like a strong, rich taste. Straight away there, guys. Yeah, and that caramel's there as well. 
with a few spices. Not burning me throat or anything like that. Quite nice. The tiniest little bit of cinnamon. I got it in the smell dingo and I'm tasting it a little bit there as well guys. Maybe the slightest bit of honey, just the very slightest bit. Like a, like a nice brown sugar thing going on. Brown sugar. <laughs> yeah, I've had loads of people, loads of people telling us to review this, oh, Maker's Mark. Now my favorite bourbon, if you've been watching long enough guys, you'll have heard us say it. It is um, Woodford Reserve. I love that, that is absolutely beautiful. And for me, this is not quite as nice as Woodford Reserve, but it's definitely better, you know, than your, your really popular American ones like your, your Jim Beams and your Jack Daniels, which are both lovely. Don't get me wrong, dingo man dingoes, as they say in the doodonski. Them are good. That's better. Not quite as nice as Woodford Reserve, but it is nice. Anyway, let's see if we can get some more tastes instead of just talking shite. You know what I'm talking about. Mmm. See now, I left it for a bit, I'm talking a bit shit, and I've come back to it. And as well as like the caramel and that, I'm now getting like a lovely hazelnut taste. Very nice indeed. Yeah, oh, that's definitely hazelnut. Very, very nice, it is. It's a quality waski. Yeah. Some spices. I'm getting a tiny little bit of a tingle on the old tongue dingo, man dingoes. Really, really nice. Well, what score are we gonna give for this, guys? Maker's Mark, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. I don't think it's the greatest review I've ever done, di I've ever done dies. I've ever done dies. <laughs> I don't think it's the greatest review I've ever done, guys. But I'm going to give this a very, very decent 8.2 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes. You better believe I am. Down the hatch. Mmm. Ah, you know, makes sense. Well, guys, that's the end of this little wasp review. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious wasky tasting. It's not quite the end of this video yet, guys. I'm now going to say bonjour to you, absolute legends. But before I leave you all together, I'm now going to show you some bloopers from my last three camping videos. Apologies now, guys, for the language. There's a lot of swearing in the bloopers. Anyway, enjoy the bloopers, guys, and then that'll be the end of the video, and I will see you legends on Sunday night on my next Stealth Camping Adventure. You better believe I will. See you later, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. See you on Sunday. Right. Oh, yes. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. Yes, I'm back out on another stealth camp. It's Saturday night. I'm really looking forward to this one. I've just parked the old Van Dingo up in the village of Newbottle, and I'm now making my way down to the busy A690 road, which joins up there. Eh, fuck off. Ho oh, ho, yes, man, Dingoes. You know what time it is. Wasky time. And this is what we've got. Penderen Legend. Welsh single malt waski. Kindly given to me. 
from a legend by the name of Daniel. <laughs> Let us go, isn't it? Oh, fuck off, man. Oh, oh yes, man, dingoes. You know what time it is. Waski time. And this is what I've got this week. Pen Duren, legend. Single malt Welsh waski, kind of given to me by a near fuck off man for fuck's sake. Mm. Oh, oh mate, for... Fuck off. Okay then folks, there's the fun shack over there. We've just been standing here for a half a minute making sure there's no, there's no starting. Cheers little schmickaroonie. Cheers mandingos. Cheers mandingos. Cheers. Just on our second can of Madri now. We only had... Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Start again. Look, because this is what we're going to see as we're recording. Right, turn the roof. Right, guys, that's my Baghdad all packed away with a bin diesel next to it with all our shite in. Mixed bags over there. Ready for the off, mate? Oh, yes. Two rights. Yes, guys. It's been an absolutely fantastic camp. We're ready to make a move for it. Round the car, in the car park there, round the corner. Loads of car, oh, fuck off. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. Yes, back out on another stealth camp. I'm in this business park at Hortonley Spring. I'm gonna do a stealth camp. Well, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try and camp. Oh, fuck off, that's fucking shit. Okay then, my fan sexuals. Time to show you my setup for tonight. We'll just go through this quickly, this bit, because it's the same as usual. Oh, fuck off, man, get your words out. Temperatures dropped a little bit. It's not cold or anything like that, but I just thought I'll put my jacket on, keep warm. That's the trick, guys, when you're camping. Don't let you get. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Cheese man, dingoes. Nice little chest warmer. It was just starting again, a little bit chilly. So I've got me warm down jacket on just to keep the chill off. You know what I'm talking about, Manding was. Nah, it's not cold or anything like that. But yeah, the temperature dropped just a little bit. So the trick with camping is, guys, when you're out in the cold like this, oh, it's not even fucking cold, man, for fuck's sake. Hmm. There's just something special about solo camping. A lot of people might think that's boring. I might think, what's good about camping by yourself? Honestly, guys. Ah, fuck off, that's fucking shit. We're a dickhead. So, guys, that's it. Ah, fuck off. Shite. Oh, air matron. Oh.